If you're thinking about getting into model railroading or you're already an attic, boy, do we have a project for you. In this episode, we make mountains out of mohills the regular guy way, and I'll show you how I do it right now. Hey, welcome to It's My Railroad, the how-to show for regular people. On this show, we build a project layout from the ground up. In this case, we're working on my logging camp from the ground up, and we're having a lot of fun doing it. Lots of community involvement, great place to hang out. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. All right, rail fans, let's get into this. Today, we're gonna put the styrofoam on the front of the railroad where the upper deck is, and uh, what I'm now calling the canyon on the layout. We're also going to expand the mohills a little bit. Um, I'll tell you why when we get into the episode, but this is a good opportunity to point out that in, in the regular guy's opinion, part of model railroading is being able to identify something's not quite working right and then to change it. There's no shame in it. If it's not working the way you want it to work or it's not coming out the way you thought it was, you can make a change on the fly. You can rip it out and start over. Whatever you want to do, it's your railroad. Okay, just before we head into the hobby room, make sure you come back and see me in the studio when this is all over, because I've got a little sneak peek of what's coming, uh, some stuff I think you're gonna enjoy uh, taking a look at. But enough of that, let's head into the hobby room right now. I'm holding in my hand a bunch of miscellaneous pieces of styrofoam. As I've been saying, what we're gonna do now, we're able to start pushing the styrofoam in all along here and start grading it down and start turning this into something that we can put dirt on and paint and plant some trees and really make it look like a logging camp. Uh, back here, I don't really think, back here, I really don't think these hills are uh, pronounced enough. Uh, they're not dramatic enough. So even though I got some sculpt to mold on some of this stuff, uh, I'm not really thrilled with it. And I don't want to have to go through and demo my whole logging camp again. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can make a more dramatic uh, mountainscape there. Probably all we're going to get done is to get everything cut out and glued in place. And then um, either in the next episode or if there's time later in this episode, we'll come through and, and uh, carve it all up, get ready for sculpt mold. So let's get to work. Okay, so I figured we'd just start here and, and work our way down. Uh, we already know that this gap right here is about two inches. So what I'm going to do is just... Uh, for off camera here, I'm gonna cut me a piece of styrofoam with my X-Acto knife. And that's about two inches. This is another application, in my opinion, where this doesn't have to be exact. As long as I can get it underneath there, so ultimately we can glue it down. Yeah, this is a pretty big piece. I think if we tuck it up under here, even, a little bit. Now if we glue that down right there, we should be able to just sort of scrape along there and turn that into some kind of a, a decent edge. But let's just cut some pieces and sort of see how everything fits in. Uh, back here, not as much room to work with. So if I grab me a thinner piece, perhaps, cut that down to two inches. What I'm doing here, and again, I'm off camera. I'm doing the same thing I did before. I've just got my X-Acto knife, and I'm just cutting right through this stuff. Many ways to do this, as we've, we've said and, uh, many times. Uh, this is how I'm doing it, because uh, it's down and dirty and gets the job done. So I can put that piece in kind of right there. Maybe even tuck that in kind of like that for now, and then, And then back around over here, we can sort of feather that in to the, the side of that hill. That's not so bad. Uh, we might want to use that just like that. Okay, then we'll grab us another chunk of styrofoam. Done. Um, go through. And see, these, it's got these kind of rough edges. We like that, because uh, that's kind of what we're going to try to end up with anyway with the... Uh, this is sculpt the mold it. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of a hillside. Uh, let's just leave it like that and run trains. Who's with me? Okay, never mind. Uh, let's get more work done than this. 
All right, so what, what I, I just, I kind of like to do even before I glue it is go ahead and get some pins to make sure it holds everything in place and see how that fits, how it grows on us. Uh, yeah, kind of like that. That. Yeah. You know, something like that. Uh, it's not uh, perfect. Once uh, you do a little cutting on it, um, we'll get it closer. Okay, so that's like the, the basic shape um, that we're trying to get up here. Already done some hacking, just like general hacking. Uh, if we glue it, let the glue dry, my technique will be to start carving it into a, sort of like an art form of Hills or Mountains. Um, we might need to add little pieces of styrofoam here and there, like we did back up here at the back of the logging camp, just so we can get some more features. But overall, I think I'm gonna get most of that by cutting fissures and stuff in there and then painting them uh, with shadows and stuff that make it look a little deeper. So I think what we should do then is uh, put the glue on this and then move up and see if there's something we wanna do back uphill or back up here in these hills. All right, so I think now I wanna get the feel for uh, where this steam donkey's gonna sit in here. And to do that, uh, we're gonna take a measurement. I put a little skeleton log car in here. We'll take a look at it. I just put like a stick down, bring something in kind of right at the level. Cause here's the thing, my in-scale ruler, there, I don't know if you can see that. I just marked that with my exact knife. My in-scale ruler doesn't start at the end with zero. And I really want it to, by the way. So I can measure that. And it says that from the ground to the top of that car is 12 feet, 12 feet from that styrofoam to the top of this car. I have decided that the logging loading platform will be at five feet higher than that, 17 feet. So what I'll do is I'll just take and I'll make what um, in construction, <clears throat> I would call a story pole. Just take a piece of wood and put a mark on it at 17 feet. I just made a mark with the X-Acto knife, which you're not going to be able to see very well, but it's uh, it's going to serve its purpose. So if I stick my little story pole up here, it tells me that right here is that log loader. Let's go out like this. What do you see? You see almost no mountain in the background. Well, that's not going to work. We need a freaking mountain in the background. So I'm going to try this. Let's say we want that thing to be a foot away from the skeleton logging car. And we want it to be 10 feet wide. So it's 11 feet, 11 scale feet. I'll figure out 11 scale feet by putting my uh, scale down on there. And it tells me that 11 scale feet is right, right there. So right there I need to be at 17 feet, a little less because the log loader and stuff will be built on top of that. So rough, roughly 17 feet. So if I want 17 feet starting right there, and I can't even find my own mark right now. Put my mark over here. And from starting right about there, I need to start gluing more styrofoam chunks in. Like about like that. I'd say we're about, we're about an inch low. Bring in a piece of one inch here. And yeah. So if we do this, if we put this thing in, uh, it's gonna make this sharper rise back here. It's gonna be up much higher. But then the log loader is actually gonna look like it's sitting down at the bottom of some kind of a mountain, which it doesn't right now. So let's do this. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. And just go ahead and figure out, we'll, we'll overcompensate. We're gonna go too far. And gluing this down. So 
we can cut it back like right there. Now I guess I could have known this before, but as as we said, uh, I've been saying I, I never did this this log sort of sleeper thing for track before, and so I'm kind of kind of learning as I go. Uh, but I am having one good time. So we've got back here hard to see right now. We'll show we'll look at it again later. We got the little gully that sort of comes down here and goes under the track. So we'll start at the gully, pretty much, and. I think glue that in like that. Thing is, we need, we're need we going to end up having to put something in triangular shape back here. Um, and that's not really going back there far enough, is it? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just pin this thing down and take a flyer at what we can do after that. All right, that's a dramatic hillside. I'm getting my little story pulled out again. It tells me that 17 feet is going to be... Yeah, right about here, 17 feet. So we can cut it flush, we can do whatever we want putting the scenery on. Now, with that there, we need to get something to fill in the side over here. Mom got mad at me because I keep throwing crap on the floor, so I actually have to throw stuff in the trash can now. Okay, I want you guys to see this, so I just picked up the camera. Uh, broke protocol, whatever. Uh, back here's where that gully is. This is the piece I just cut, and there's the side of the hill. If I can get this pinned and glued, we should be able to come back and shave that back down to some kind of a gully again. Um, it's going to look uh, it's going to look more like some kind of a canyon. I don't know, but it is going to be what it is. And then this piece right here, of course, we can cut flush. We need to get a piece inserted. We need to get a piece inserted back there, and then. Um, and glue it down. See if there's something else we want to do, maybe back over here uh, to bring that up and make it more dramatic. But remember, we're going to have a path right through here that the horsies take to get out to the woods. So let's take a look at that. doesn't look like much but once we get this glued in place get it carved down I think we're really gonna have something we can screw around with uh, if all else fails we can just start the show over from the beginning hey by the way who likes Star Trek there's the Star Trek uh, emblem right there okay um, so if we get all that glued in then we come back and we're gonna shape all that I I'm not kidding you we're gonna shape it all up um, put some sculpt mold on there carve it it's gonna look better but we need some rough kind of hewn things to work with uh, for now. I'm just even shoving little random pieces under there just so we have something to carve against later. So glue all that in. Okay, so I, I set these buildings down here where they're gonna go. I'm pretty sure we're gonna reuse these buildings in this location, but you know, things change at will. This might move down a little bit. I think I might put a water tower right here that they put water into to feed the camp. But the purpose of this layout is to go ahead and start a hillside, a steeper one, right about in here, that's gonna come up like this. Now, the thing is, uh, I'm, I'm not necessarily certain that, again, would be what, something you'd actually find in nature, but it's behind the buildings, and we'll put that rise in there, and it'll be kind of camouflaged at the top, maybe some, some kind of a tree line, but maybe we can put some of those cabins in there like we were talking about. So, you know, I, I just decided I'm gonna do it. So we're just gonna put some, a bit of a, Steeper rise, maybe, maybe not as high as the one over here. Maybe just somewhere up in there. I don't know. Let's just see what happens, shall we? So the first thing I think we need to do is just like put some kind of a mark. We'll just say that this kind of curves around the building a little bit, starts back here, and ultimately joins up, joins up with this other hillside here. Just kind of swooping, a rolling hills, we'll call it. Um, get those back out of the way, and we've got our rolling hillside drawn out. So if I want to make that, I don't know, up there, it's about half this piece of styrofoam. So I'll just go ahead and cut it in half and back here. 
you know what? I think we'll cut a little wedge shape out of the bottom of this so it sits on that hillside we already put in a little bit better. I have a plan. We put this, just kind of glue it in place right there. Let's put a pin in that for now. Sculpt them all there, it didn't want to go nowhere. That one there, and then put its baby sister, we'll do the same thing. Cut a bit of a wedge shape in the bottom of it with the Ojavi saw. And more. Something like that. You know, for now, there you go. We have some more basic shapes in. We've gotten a little more dramatic with our hillsides. Got to fill in on the bottom there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put all the glue on this, let it set up, and then uh, we're going to end up coming back and carving it up, sculpt molding, painting, putting dirt on it, and away we go. And we're back in the studio. Wow, that's a lot of fun. I love doing scenery. Uh, now we're going to be able to. Uh, fine-tune that a little bit, sculpt them all, paint it, dirt it, make it look like some real mountains. I really love this, this dramatic, bold feature that we've included now instead of just the little mohills we had before. Uh, I like it a whole lot. Can't wait to see this thing develop. Okay, and speaking of watching things develop, uh, here's a sneak peek at what's coming up. Today we've got both good news and bad news. The bad news is what you see here in the way of this track is not what you saw last week. Now, I brought the Shea up with some cars and I was trying to run logging operations um, and then suddenly things went horribly awry. I tried wedging things, I tried bending things and pushing things around and everything I could think of to salvage what was up here but um, it wasn't working. And uh, it's my railroad. So I decided, you know, people make mistakes. So I tore it out. I'm really looking forward to the way this thing unfolds. So if you haven't subscribed yet, this is an excellent time to do it so you don't miss any of these. If you like this video, how about just pushing that like button for me? It'll be a good time, I promise. And if you know of anybody who can use this information to further them along on their model railroad journey, please just share the video with them. Finally, if uh, you have anything to say about this video, let's hear it. Uh, I hear from a lot of you guys uh, here on It's My Railroad down in the comment section. So make sure and share your thoughts. Give us your take on what you're seeing. Really interested to hear about it. Now let me ask you this question. If you haven't started building your model railroad yet, what are you waiting for? Your tax refund? By the way, I take donations. Well, I guess that ought to do. Hey, thanks again for watching. My name is Steve Brown and I will see you next time blah 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 gonna be a logging camp maybe not the quality of uh some of the other people's but uh i'm gonna enjoy it i'm sure who gives a crap let's just try that again